Hello again, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished individuals. I'm Ryumaru MG, and I'm back with a special guest. Hi. And we're back with more Undertale. So, we spent the last episode flirting with a skeleton, so let's hit that bone zone, right? Max. <laughs> Max. I, I just glared at him and was like, I, I, wow. I know I am not the first to make that joke, but oh god, have I been waiting to make that joke. <clears throat> anyway. He's taking us to a pla really special place. A place he likes to spend a lot of time. I mean... Whoop! <laughs> why would we go like this? I have no idea. Um... My house! Perfect. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's a dirty sock, sock with a series of notes on it. it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Wait, wait, I'll be Sans. Oh, be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Mm -hmm. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't bring it back! Mm -hmm. Okay. It's still here! Can you just say you to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> Look at this kitchen. Oh kitchen. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> I love the music that's playing. <laughs> Catch that meddling canine! Uh, oh. Curses! Dang you, Sans! Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. Oh god. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Sands. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any visit it any time. Alrighty then. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! It's a pie. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Oh god, I started doing this virus. I'm slowly becoming papyrus. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. I love his suspicious face. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Because that everybody knows that's what pet rocks eat. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Whoa! Uh, okay. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. Dancing. Yeah. Okay. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. <laughs> what? It's usually better than this. Uh, this is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Too late. You've been judged. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Oh, God, help me. After the experience with Toriel, let's do this. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah, that's a good choice. <laughs> Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. I will, don't worry. Eh. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boning people. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> You guys couldn't see my face there, but... Oh, God, it was beautiful. This door is locked. I like I'm... how there's epic coming out of it. Just literal epic. Oh, yeah. There's a secret way to get in there, actually. How do you get in there? It's at the end of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Ready to go inside? Yes. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Yeah, that's not... okay. <laughs> the internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account! Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Is that... Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. do you think it is? It's Sans. 
I like how it. he's 12 followers away from a double digit follower. Meaning he count. has one follower. No, 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 no. You're in double digits the second you reach 10, remember. Oh. He's at negative two. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. <laughs> Beautiful. No skeletons. <clears throat> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzled Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. It was aliens. <laughs> I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> so, before I go any further, now that you've brought up aliens, I have to tell you a story. I once saw a post somewhere, I don't remember, but it was, it was, I don't think Atlantis sank, I think it lifted off. Aliens. And then the post below it was, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> it was the greatest thing I've ever That's seen. That's pretty great. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. <laughs> How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa? Yeah, that's right! Santa! Yep. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> He's like a three-year-old. I think that's everything, so. Yeah, I think it is. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Hex, yeah. <clears throat> okay, dating starts! Dating starts! Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. Uh, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Yep. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. Or library. We're ready to have a great time. Uh, let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for this dating. Actually work. I don't know. It oh. does. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's uh Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. I like the how he has a dog getting closer, yeah. Step two, ask them on a date. Well, he's gotta be prepared, because otherwise. The dog might steal his special attack again. That's true. I, Papyrus, will go on a date with you! I feel like doing something different this time. Well, it's up to you. Fortunately, it only says to ask. <laughs> 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 I guess that means it's time for part three. Yep. <laughs> Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That his, bandana around your head. His suspicious face is amazing. You're wearing clothing right now! That's true. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Well, it's up to you. Nah, I have. <laughs> his face. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating! And I never will! Probably because you've never dated before. I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. That's not sexually... no. Okay. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. That's not suggestive at all. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care! <laughs> It just goes the same way, no matter what you do. 
However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <laughs> Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. <laughs> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Exactly. My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. <clears throat> Do you know what this is? Of course. I mean, spaghetti. It's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask. And then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Oh, God. The taste is... Indescribable. <laughs> what a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ugh. No! <laughs> Human. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Hexiad has. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I... Um, boy, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I, I don't like you the way you like me. R romantically, I mean. I, I, I mean, I tried very hard to. His face is I, fantastic. I, I, I thought that because you flirted with me, uh, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. <laughs> <Space>. <laughs> <laughs> A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. <laughs> After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. That's true, that'd be pretty gross. And, and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> I mean, like, be like the mummy. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> <clears throat> well and yes you can call him right now ring ring wow it only took you four seconds to call me did I actually measure it I don't know I think it does you must be very desperate for my help well do not fear this is Papyrus's hotful helpline just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips so where are you <laughs> you're still in my room have you heard of something called a door <laughs> Wait, don't worry, I'll draw a diagram for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, one of my favorite things, examine his door. <clears throat> it's the door to Papyrus' room. It's covered in many labels. No girls allowed. No boys allowed. Papyrus allowed. Well, I think we did it, guys. <laughs> we made it, guys. <laughs> God, I love that. So yes, now at any time, basically any time in the game, you can call Papyrus and he'll talk to you. Wait. About Wait. Uh, Toriel's phone. Dialing. Nobody picked up. Dang it. Yeah. That's depressing. 
Yeah, I don't think Toriel ever answers. Okay. But yeah, you can call Papyrus anytime. I mean like this. Yep. <laughs> ring, ring. Snowden. Home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> Again. Okay. What is this thing anyway? <clears throat> you know, I don't know what exactly that particular monster is supposed to be. They're just a monster. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we got we got one more thing to do before we're caught back up to where we were supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I really um, wish there was a run function. Me sometime. too, me too. <sighs> Ooh. It could be trying to replicate another game that I won't even mention because it's pretty obvious, though. <laughs> oh, there's just little... Yeah, just little bits in the ground. Okay. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. So if you talk to the flower first, it says, I can't let anyone know how much I love echo flowers. <laughs> the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Alrighty then. Can't get back there, unfortunately. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Oh, do you want to do you want to do Sans? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill these. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, it certainly was a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Woo! Yeah, hi, Sans. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Sands, what'd you get for breakfast just a few minutes ago? Yeah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. How does he afford all this? He must be thinking of brunch. Well, he's got two jobs. I guess. Get comfy. Ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, well, sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burger? Mm. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Groovy. Oh, have a double order of burger. Home. Yeah, I know. It's so, like, what do you what? think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. It'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. It's true. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Uh, oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Oh. That's lovely. Okay. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. I should not have but said yes. <laughs> you oh tip, the cap God. falls off and all the ketchup pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> I've steadily gotten more and more New York with him. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Uh, of course she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. Filled him with determination. Yeah. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, Dramatic lighting. You ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that's not creepy at all. Yeah. Talking flower, huh? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe you let me pull I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No. Just <laughs> kidding. Ruby, put it on my tab. 
By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. I love you, Sans. You're great. Sadly, you cannot eat this. As much as I would love to eat that ketchup-covered burger. I want to eat the real burger, though. It's not happening. Okay. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. He can handle it. <laughs> Oops. Dang it. <clears throat> I was hoping Sans came in and gave me a pat on the head. Interloper! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, that is, still has an accent, Sans, so... Yeah. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. That's true, he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still funny. <laughs> okay. The timing on it is fantastic. Okay. Sans is a... Sans is a sand tree, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. What? Sans is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. He's playing poker against himself. He appears to be losing. It's fantastic. Horse guy. Yeah, I remember him. He was talking about, you know, capital's getting pretty crowded. See the refrigeration of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some slick city slickers slip onto their butts. <clears throat> Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible foods, but despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. <laughs> Sans, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. He is the life of the party. Can I talk to this guy? <clears throat> Grilbs said that your food is probably cold by now. Grilbs. Yep. All right. Well, with a... Oh, this town doesn't have a mayor. Well, if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. It's true. Okay. All right, so I think that's good for this episode. Um, thank you once again for joining us. We will catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time.